positive and negative images of the face shows the remarkable 3D image emerge when they are slightly placed out of line. As we do our polarizing image overlay, we need to get the images aligned exactly as possible in order to show these remarkable similarities uh, here. And then that we can shift back and forth so we can uh, compare these. Uh, we call these, uh, these similar points, points of congruence uh, between the two images. So when, where we see the same image, uh, a similar image uh, on the two images we're comparing by the technique. This allows for exacting comparison between the two images. These can be uh, tabulated and uh, statistics are done on the comparison of the two images. Superimposing this 3D image and this x-ray of a skull, we can see the apparent wide eyes on the shroud are the margins of the orbits of the skull. Here we see the nasal bone on the shroud. The nasal passages and the sinuses can be seen on the shroud. The jawbone can be seen. And here we see the images of 24 teeth, roots and all. This imaging is called autoradiographic as we are seeing x-ray-like images of internal body structures. As we move across the shroud image, we see teeth until suddenly we are seeing the beard caused by some type of surface radiation. Because the images on the shroud are so unique, some physicists speculate that they may have been imprinted by some kinds of radiation as yet unknown to humankind.